Welcome back indeed. Scotty Pippen has been away for quite some time, but now he is coming back and Bulls fans are glad that he's here. Back to the Future is the theme tonight that uh, posted on the program and the Bulls hoping to get back the championship quality basketball. Welcome back. Opening night jitters, even with 13 NBA seasons under your belt, you still get them. Just ask new Bulls guard Kendall Gill. Better yet, uh, hitch a ride with Gail Fisher and Kendall in a game day routine. Hey, Fox Sports. Welcome to my crib. My game day ritual is I get up about 6 o'clock, but I know I'm going to get up at 6 o'clock. Anyway, this is my double shot. This is what I take when I get up. This is part of my ritual here. Follow me on into my office, and so we're going to order the food now, and then, uh, you know, go to the egg and I pick it up. Before we go, I have to tell you guys one thing. This is the woman I share my house with, Princess. A Chinese fighting fish. She's jealous that there's other people in the house. That's why she won't face the camera. But this is Princess. She's the lady of the house. All right. Let's hit up. This is Cedric. How you doing? Cedric drives me around uh, town and everything. So we jump in this van and, and we go. The Egg and I, they had the best food in the South Suburb. OK, now we're ready to hit the road. Let's go up to the Birdo Center. I came up with the idea of, of getting a van and um, hiring somebody to drive me for seven months uh, throughout the season because the Birdo Center is a really long way from where um, I live. I had a Bentley and I had a, um, a Ferrari and stuff like that and I traded them in. And I said, I'm gonna go get me a GMAC conversion van and ride in that. So what I did was I, I, I sold those cars, I bought this van, and I outfitted it sort of like a, a limousine. Okay, now we're here at the Berto Center. It's about nine o'clock. Come to shoot around. Uh, this is like a pre-practice before the game, personally. To make sure no coaches are around, I see no benefit in it. Shoot around was uh, was good. Of course, you know we prepared like we always do. Today is our last practice game, and unfortunately, we lost um, one of our players uh, today, Trent Hassel, um, who was uh, released um, from the team. But you know, this is the nature of the business. After shoot around, you know, I come home and uh, I relax and I eat a couple times. Right now, I'm gonna eat what our our chef at the Bulls uh, prepared for us. It's some lean beef, some uh, mashed potatoes, and some pasta. I eat this stuff for um, for carbohydrates and stuff like that for the game tonight. This is my sauna. When I, what I'm doing here is when I've had that pizza from Aurelio's or Nino's, you know and I'm a little bit overweight, I get in here and sweat it off. I can lose 10 pounds in here in two hours of, of sweat if I really wanted to. This is one of my training tools. See, a lot of professional athletes don't go through, through the lens that I go through, but since I'm a health fanatic and I try and, um, you know, come up with the newest ways to, to be better, um, you know, I come up with things like this. And it's getting pretty hot in here right now, so I gotta get out. This is really, what helps me recover. It's a hyper oxygen tent. Seen a lot of young guys, Eddie Curry, Tyson Chandler, Jamal Crawford, probably laying on the couch right now. They don't know that the old fella's in his hyper oxy tent and he's getting ready for the game. So what I'll do is I'll stay in here for an hour, hour and a half. All right, just got out of the chamber. I'm in a job, I'm ready to go. What I chose today is some nice black slacks, nice black shirt, and my leather jacket that I got made for me in LA. I like to be sharp, I like to be GQ. So this is what the old NBA player dresses like. You know, we're headed down to the United Center now, so um, what I normally do is I take a, a DVD. I also answer phone calls too. Sometimes I'll take phone calls um, from people who want tickets at the last minute, stop doing that. The main thing I do is I'll, I'll take a DVD and look at the other team's plays and look at how they play and the guy that I'm guarding that night. Um, I'll just try and really get into a game mood um, or in a game frame of mind. Playing at the United Center, 
over the years against the Bulls, you know, walking in there, it was it was sort of like I was at home still. To me, it's just so relaxing to walk walk through the same hallways where all those championships were won and, and dress in the same locker room where Michael Jordan dressed. You know, I want to win. And, uh, and, you know, they say, a lot of people say, well, you know, it's going to take them a couple of years. You know, the way I think, you know, I'm trying to get these guys to think we can win a championship this year, you know, because it's the old saying that says, if not, why not? And I think that if we can put things together and everybody stays healthy, that we're not only going to go to the playoffs, but we're going to make a lot of noise in the playoffs. Now Kendall's a class act, Gail. That was some nice stuff. Guy. We thank him for letting us into his house and following him around all day. I think he's going to be a great addition to this Bulls team. He's been trying to get with the Bulls ever since he left the University of right. Illinois. He is finally here to dream come true for him. And at age 35, he is in the best shape of his life. Nothing wrong with 35. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that at all. He's well, a young chap. Yes, he is. Get, no, Gail? you need one of those oxygen tanks. Yeah, that's what I was going to oh. ask you about. That's the same it's, thing it's, Michael it's, Jackson it's, has, right? Uh, well, I think he has. Had one of those, yes. There's no telling what'll happen if I'm breathing that bad. <laughs> Norm doesn't need any more oxygen. Oh, yeah. No, no. Norm is on Not that, with my background. That natural kind of stuff. I hear you, Norm. Yeah. All right, Gail, thank you very much. That looks look like fun. Still to come, we got the marquee matchup. We're about to wrap it up. Bulls basketball just around the corner.